Hey everybody, it's your girl Victoria Lowe and I'm back with another video which of course means another color and in this video I'm showing you guys how I mix in bulk and I am going to be making 15 liquid matte lipsticks today and this beautiful neutral with pink undertones it is absolutely gorgeous and this is my finished product but in lieu of the black lives matter movement and everything that is going on right now i decided to name this color after the largest city in uganda kampala and yes this is the look oh my gosh this color came out so gorgeous i actually absolutely love it and i want you guys to stay tuned because we really about to mix it up let's mix it up mix it lipstick bang mix it lipstick bang mix it lipstick bang mix it lipstick bang mix it up mix it lipstick bang mix it lipstick bang mix it lipstick bang First things first, I'm going in with my world famous lipstick base. That's a very below lipstick base in seven tablespoons. Whoa, that's a lot of tablespoons. But this eight ounce jar is going to do us well. We are going to add seven of those tablespoons just like that. And I still have some left in the jar. Like I said before, I'm going to be making 15 lipsticks. So that calls for seven tablespoons and now i'm going in with five tablespoons of the titanium dioxide if you guys have been on this lipstick making journey with me from the beginning you guys know that i like to add the white first to get my canvas established and when you've been making multiple lipsticks you want to be sure to exercise patience because as you can see we are working with seven times more product <laughs> so right here i'm just getting everything incorporated as much as i can by spatula but not to worry i'm going to be using a hair mixer today but I wanted to first at least get the powder mixed into the base so that when I do use my hand mixer the powder won't just fly all over the place so right here that's what you see me doing you see me incorporating the powder into the base with my rubber spatula tablespoons of the red 27 alum lake dye which is pink <laughs> and I'm just gonna add this to my bowl and I'm gonna mix it in I'm not gonna mix it as much as I mix the white because like I said I am gonna be using my hand mixer so I just kind of want to get that powder incorporated into that white so that it doesn't create a cloud when I do mix with the mixer
trying to bring some earth to this color, some melanin. We're neutralizing this bubble gum, peachy pink, <laughs> and basically turning it into a nude. A good idea when making nudes, whatever undertone that you decide, you can add your brown after you have created your undertones, just like I did. I added my pink and my yellow, cause that's what the, those were the undertones that I wanted. And now I'm going in with three tablespoons of the brown oxide, just to deepen it up a bit and to make it a neutral. When it comes to avoiding streaks and clumps and all of that stuff of you know color or the powder color additives you want to make sure that you take that spatch spatula once you've added your main colors and kind of just bring the color up the side of the bowl until the point where you can't see any more of that pink and that white you kind of want to grab that because if you leave it there then it's going to come out one way or another inside of your bottle or one way or another when they swatch it so you want to make sure that you get all of that but not to worry we still have a little way to go after we basically get the size of the bowl we have to still add our iso and all of that good stuff so we're still building the color oh and not only that we have to mix with our hand mixer so we're just getting everything making sure that we have everything incorporated first it's easier to just grab all of that color off the side of the bowl and then once we add everything else it's going to be one consistent color Okay, everybody, meet my new best friend, the Wonderper Hand Mixer. The, I love this mixer because it is USB rechargeable, so I can just charge it overnight and until I'm ready to use it. And what I love about it is it holds a very long charge and it comes with three different mixing tools. I am using the mini beater. It's like a little ball and I love it because it helps to keep me from wasting product. So I love it versus using the big beater because all of your lipstick will get caught up in that beater and it's just a mess. But with the mini beater, it kind of keeps the lipstick down in the bowl while it enables you to mix. So what you see me doing here with the spatula, I'm just making sure that I move the product down to where I am mixing with the um, hand mixer and just scraping the sides of the bowl making sure that I get everything down there and this is really what's going to help us get this color finish as far as especially being that we are mixing in a larger quantity it kind of look like cake frosting <laughs> but yes I am just whipping this color up occasionally get in the sides of the bowl with my spatula and just to show you guys it, I am not wasting a lot of product and I'm going in for a swatch chest check and it is already popping oh my gosh that's a pretty color if you wanted to stop right now you could stop right now add isodotacane and be done but I'm going to keep going I'm going in with three tablespoons of isodotacane remix you can purchase this from my website verivilabeauty.com 
and right here you guys are going to see the texture change but it is still going to maintain its weight it's going to be liquid but it's not going to be too thin and of course after adding iso remix i always like to go back in with some pigment of course so i'm going in with half of a tablespoon of titanium dioxide i'm also going in with half of a tablespoon of yellow number five alum late notice i said tablespoon and not teaspoon because we are working with a bigger quantity but yes that is so satisfying look at that <laughs> so now i'm just adding everything kind of just folding the product into the iso before i continue on with my hand mixer I often get asked the question, if you want to keep your texture creamy, what were some tips? And one tip is not to add as much ISO, but you know, it's all according to your preference and the type of product that you want. But I do like the product, this consistency, as you can see, it is turning back creamy again. So yes, and those little lumps that you see, those are air bubbles because we are using a hand mixer <laughs> so you're gonna get some air bubbles but yes we are just like i said before you can use less iso if you want it to be thicker or more on the creamier side but yeah that is a tip just taking a spatula to make sure that there is no pigment or powdered pigments hanging out on the sides of the bowl just kind of getting everything incorporated and just mixing it some more but yes that is the consistency that I wanted because when it comes time to put it in that bottle this is gonna go it's just gonna flow right in and not only that it's gonna look amazing on the lips so and cream is good too cream is good too but sometimes you may have to load the syringe from the back if it's creamier but you can always go back and add more isodotacane remix to your bowl if need be so yes just got you kind of just gotta test it out to see you know what it is that you like as far as the texture goes but this is a texture that I love simply because it's easier to put into the bottle.
So here I am going in with a swatch check for progress and it is absolutely beautiful, but I want to lighten it up. It got I got to be the one that go in with more, huh? <laughs> but that's okay because another thing I noticed like with the drying power, when when I add more pigment, it doesn't matter what color it is, any powdered color additive when I go back in with it, it does help my product to dry faster. So, yeah, that's just another tip. It's like the more powder you add, the faster that it will dry. But it's like you want to maintain the balance between the ISO and the powder and, and the base. So that A, it stays together. And B, it's not um, too runny and oily. You know what I mean? So after adding the powder... It's like once you have enough powder to base to ISO, you're going to get that perfect drying power. So you want to be sure that you're adding enough pigment. And if you're just starting off, I have many videos showing you how to make lipstick in smaller quantities. And you can purchase the color additives in a smaller quantity as well, like in one ounce. But, you know, as your business grows and when you decide to make more colors, then it would be a good idea to go ahead and start purchasing your color additives in a four ounce size or more. But yes, one ounce is good to start off with purchasing your colors. I have a shop with me video, you know, showing you guys what color additives to buy and where to get them from. Basically, the colors that I show you in the video, you can make any color with those colors. So yes, please check that video out so that you know which ones to buy. And when I'm talking about color additives, I'm referring to the oxides, the titanium dioxide, and the lake dyes. Micas, nope, I'm not referring to those. Even though they do sell micas on their website, but just make sure that, you know, whatever color color additives that you use and make sure that they are FDA approved as well as batch certified. All right. So don't be getting all them Amazon micas and emailing me talking about, oh, my color not showing up. It's not. It's not going to show up. Please check out my shot with me video so that you know exactly what you need. Okay. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and do a swatch check for progress. And as you can see, the color is beautiful and it is drying more pigment more power to the pigment <laughs> so now i'm just taking a large syringe i got these syringes from amazon everything that i'm using i will be linking it in the description box below from the color additives to the mixer everything i'm going to link everything so that you can have it ready to go so i am um basically filling up my syringe and like I said, this texture allows me to just draw it up. So I'm gonna draw up the syringe and I am going to proceed to fill these 15 bottles. Now, when you fill in these bottles, you wanna make sure that you are not filling the bottles all the way to the top. You wanna leave some room because when that wine goes in, it won't go all the way in. And this happened. I made, I made 15 bottles and four of them I overfilled. So you want to take it from me. Make sure that you leave in enough space at the top. Yep, just like that. So that you can be able to stick your wand inside without the cap coming off the um, stopper. So you want to be sure to leave enough space at the top. But yes. I am feeling, and if you get any air bubbles like that, you just gently tap the bottle and the air bubbles will go away, but I'm going to do that at the end. I'm going to keep filling up these bottles and put my stoppers in and my wands.
But yes, this is the finished product after I have added my stoppers as well as my wands and my labels and my shrink bands. I got my bottles my, and my shrink bands from Elements Bath and Body.com and that is my finished product. And this is the color. This is Kampala, you guys. It is so beautiful. If I'm saying it wrong, please forgive me. But yes, this is the color that we have created in bulk thanks to my subscribers and your request and if you want to purchase this color you can visit my website the color made from this batch and shout out to whitney from purplicious nail bar oh my gosh you guys everybody was in love with her setup she have she has been making her lipsticks in bulk and i'm just so proud of her like i'm so proud of you guys can you believe i was afraid of making that video and look at you guys y'all are some lipstick making queens and you guys inspire me to keep going but yeah go to my website and purchase kampala from that batch that i just made i got 10 of them and they're gonna go fast but yes and also you can go to my website to purchase the very vila beauty lipstick base as well as the iso remix and as always thanks for watching i love you guys